What makes Steve funny? I don't know. Um, I think because he's very smart um, and he works uh, like an actor more than as a comic. So his stuff is very character driven and he's thinking about what would this person do and what's a situation that would be funny instead of what can I do that's funny and then make it make sense for this character later. So uh, I think he just really approaches things as an actor. I play um, Evan Baxter's wife, Joan, and um, I think that he's gone totally crazy. <laughs> We've just moved to a new place. Um, uh, Evan has been elected to Congress. And it's caused a lot of change in the family, and then he starts acting really strange, um, wakes up with a beard, uh, these strange tools are delivered to our house, he buys all the property next door, um, he's acting strangely at work, and it's all because he's been given this task by someone who says they're God, but I don't know that, and I think that he's just gone really off the deep end, and um, eventually I, I worry for the kids, and I, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what to do. I think, at a, well, so what happens is um, an interesting waiter, <laughs> played by Morgan Freeman, just sort of says, you know, one of my favorite speeches in the movie, which is, sometimes you just have to believe, basically, you know, even, even, even though something doesn't look the way you thought it was going to look. And so she decides to, um, you know, to, to stick with him and, and help him complete this, this task, even if it doesn't make any sense, just because of love. So I can't tell you how much of it was real. No, and that was really helpful in the movie, too, because in, you know, we went from an empty field to all this lumber being delivered to the sort of bones of the boat going up. I mean, they, they built this amazing, amazing thing, and, and so much of it is us really on it. You know, we're not on a stage, and it was drawn in later. So that really helped, you know, the sense of, I mean, it's huge. It's just this huge thing, and... Um, that, that helped the, the scale of the movie and the scale of the, of the story. And then some of the water and some of that stuff, you know, happened later. But we were sprayed down with hoses, you know, every day for weeks. <laughs> so it felt great. I kind of like zebras because they remind me of horses, and I really like horses. But, the, but on the set, I'll tell you, the, the elephants were the most impressive. They're very kind. They're very smart. They respond to, you know, really subtle. Uh, the trainers would speak to them like you're talking to a a friend <laughs> and they seem to respond so that was amazing